How's it going? So I wanted to make a video on how to update bios for... Man, I know I look a mess too. <laughs> um, update bios for super micro motherboards. Well, first of all, you want to go to the actual site for the motherboard. It's weird because this is the first motherboard that I've actually... Well, there were other motherboards too, but this is one of the motherboards that I really had trouble just updating the bios. It was pretty far behind in the version, so this is the model number I have. Nothing, I don't think it's like very new, but it does the job. Supermicro X9 SRL-F, that's the one that I'm using. But anyway, um, if you don't want to Google search it, you can just go to supermicro.com and take you to this. You want to go to support. I just thought I'd make this because it was very difficult to get it updated, service support, port support, um, downloads, you can put in your, what you have here, um, I have the X9 SRL F Go BIOS, and you can get like the drivers and shit for like Windows, I actually did have to do that too, um, but get BIOS, check right here, this is the newest one, well, for mine, click this, go to the end, accept, sign your life away. <laughs> no, it's, I don't know, I don't really know why they have a disclaimer. Maybe, oh, it's an agreement, I don't know. I didn't really read it. It'd be like that South Park episode with Apple. <laughs> so, show in folder, extract. I moved all of my documents, all this stuff, into a slave drive. So you got all this, this is what you have. And from here, you want to run Rufus. It turns your a flash drive or whatever. I'm using this. This is all I have on me. I have a, some other a flash drive, but I have stuff on it. And so you're gonna need a flash drive. Um, I just used an SD card. Turn, it's basically a flash drive. And it's gonna format. So make sure you have everything off. Yeah, now the room's a mess. Uh, plug it in. Shit comes up on here. I just did FAT32. Um, I did 16 kilobytes. Um, yeah, everything seems to be good. Start. It wipes it. Writing master boot record. It basically turns the drive into a DOS bootable. Okay, close. And uh, here it is. So you copy all these, go into your um, flash drive, whatever, paste. So this is from the Rufus, so I made all that. These are from the BIOS download that we did, uh, X9 SRL 5116 zip. i pretty sure I mentioned to extract it, right? Yeah, you do want to extract it. So. So it doesn't have a zip. Get back to here. Everything looks good. And you want to... Uh, yeah, probably restart. restart. I have a graphic card plugged in, so... It might not show right away. I don't have a VGA plugged in. Like the, the built-in display. Oh, you want to push... Probably push delete to get into the BIOS settings. I can't see right here, so I already know which key to push. So I just push it a lot, <laughs> and then it goes. And you'll hear the beeping. This is the sure way to get into the BIOS settings. <laughs> this is how I do it. Either it's like F12 or F2, but this one's delete. So there it goes right now. Oh, I didn't get it. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, well. This is the reason why I was trying to upload the BIOS, because it kept hanging. It starts loading, and then it just freezes, and it just stops. So I was assuming maybe it needed some BIOS update or something. Something. I'm hoping it's not a hardware issue, but I'll have to, I mean, I just have to shut it down again, and then it, turn it back on, and it, it boots right up. I was just trying to figure out what the deal it was. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe push it faster. <laughs> I usually would have the VGA plugged in, dedicated graphics card, just built into the motherboard. It's a piece of crap. 
Um, but I didn't really want to keep it plugged in. So, okay, so it's going, I guess. Set entering setup. Or is it, am I pushing it too fast? And then it's just exiting? Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, as you can see, I'm on 3.2, which is the current. Well, not really. Well, it is the current up to date one, but. So, you want to. Okay, PCI. This, this the launch storage. You want to do legacy. Boot device. Uh, memory card. You can skip this step. I just like to do it this way instead of having to push. I think it was F12. And save and exit. Save changes and reset. And it should boot into the flash drive or CD, whatever you used. I'm just demonstrating it through a flash drive. It'd be easier. And so it should go. <coughs> should boot up to DOS um, any minute I don't know why it does this it like boots to the screen then it boots to the same screen it did that on um, directory okay so here's what we're working with these are the files that we have um, the bat file is what I do so I just do AMI space X nine S R L five dot one one six and enter. So it'll start the flashing. I'm hoping it doesn't do anything wrong because I've already flashed it and so it's erasing. I already flashed it, so just doing it again for demonstration. So if it breaks, it's your fault. <laughs> no, it should be okay. I mean it just erases it and rewrites it, so yeah, I mean, I don't know, it was Mer uh, Megatrends, AMI, that's another motherboard company, that's weird. So maybe they included it, and you just have to figure it out yourself, but this is how I got it. It was a real pain in the ass, it took me like a day and a half to try to figure out what I was supposed to do, but yeah, once I saw all this, I was like, yes, I'm in the right place. <laughs> I mean, I was trying to, most of the most motherboards now you can actually update it in Windows like you can be using Windows and just use a program you put in like your BIOS file um, maybe another file then push run and it does it all on there but this is how you do it on here and and again um, it'll be AMI it, I'm pretty sure it's gonna all be AMI space and whatever your thing is there's gonna be there's not gonna be a dot on there in the file directory you gotta add the dot and then whatever three numbers are after so in my case it, it was x9sr15 or l5 I don't know and then I had to add the period and then the rest of my numbers so it'll be whatever your file is it's not going to be this and it does hang it hang it hung on this for a while don't touch anything just let it go it'll read that 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 and then it'll say system must power off to change for changes to take effect that's when i just flip the power switch on the power um, power supply just say like what 15 seconds just turn it back on it'll act a little weird yeah you want to take this out you don't want it to boot back on there it's gonna act weird it's gonna start up and act weird oh great yeah I gotta plug the VGA back in I forgot because um, the default is VGA it'll be on the like dedicated graphics card right now I'm connected to my expansion um, graphic card and then through that it has the DVI and and HDMI so you're, you're gonna need to plug the you know, if your monitor has a VGA that's that's good too then um, that'll work too um, I'm pushing delete right now and try to get into the settings it's not gonna show up I gotta connect the other monitor okay 
So I've connected the VGA screen. Unfortunately, this screen doesn't have VGA. Oh, it does actually have VGA. Oh, so I actually don't need this one. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, you want to go to... Just for safe measures, restore optimized default. Um, I like to configure it myself. I do UEFI only. Boot, I like to change these. Hard drive, um, disable. I don't like to boot any other additional. Just in case someone tries to mess with the computer. Hard disk, if you have multiple drives, I have them in order, so SATA port 1 is, and I only have 500, 500, um, that's just what I'm working with right now. I plan on upgrading, but, and advanced VGA priority on board. Um, that's not what we're gonna. I'm not gonna be using that. Okay. And save changes and reset. Yes. And this is where I will unplug this screen. Because it should show up on that screen now. It'll show up this, it'll leave this screen on. And then this will pop up with the same Super Micro system initializing on this screen. It should. And then this will just stay on here while Windows is booting. I thought that was kind of weird. And then Windows, yeah. <laughs> Windows should be booting on this one. I don't know what it's doing. It, it does, it does like some restarts after you upgrade the BIOS. So there's Windows, and <laughs> for some reason this stays on here. Um, yeah, it'll probably load now. It's weird, like, if I start it up, it usually hangs on here, and I have to turn it off, like, hard reset it, then turn it back on, and then it goes. So it'll probably go now. Yeah, there it goes. Yep. So, oh, I forgot to show the, in the settings, you would see, like, the old BIOS, version it would be up to the current date whatever download you did so I mean I'm at yeah this is still on there I just unplug it and uh, once you restart it after you did the settings and all that then it, it shouldn't pop up anymore and I just kind of got this computer running so I'm like just still in the process of transferring my files it may be a little slow like when you first start it up after the BIOS update that's how it was when I first did it. Okay, so it's got the BIOS updated. And another option that you could have done, which I think that Super Micro prefers you do, is, come on, our internet is insanely slow. I think we have like 2 megabytes a second. So, okay, I'm back at my motherboard, the X9 SRLF. Um, yeah, where is it? The way they want, well, I think that they would want, it's really, really cryptic like it's hard to get around on this site but I think they want you to use where is it they have manuals and stuff too it's like really disorganized this whole thing I think this is what they want you to use one of them you have to pay well, I think this way you have to pay is like 20 bucks and then you can be on Windows and do it but uh, I'm not gonna pay 20 bucks anyway that's how you do it if I helped you out just give me a like comment if you have any questions, subscribe. I got other stuff on this channel too. It's just like a mix of everything. I mainly do motor vlogs, but um, yeah, I do side stuff like this too. So check you guys later.